Well, fuel company Ultramar is admitting tonight to a costly mistake damaging dozens of vehicles. At least two stations filled tanks meant for gas with diesel. Unwitting customers pumped the wrong fuel into their cars. CTV's Steph Anke is just back from the Prescott area today. Steph. Guys, not only costly, the diesel dilemma can be a dangerous one. Without getting into all the mechanics, driving around with diesel in a gasoline tank could compound the problem, leaving the car sputtering and then shutting down on the road. I go, oh my God, I gotta go to a gas tank. That's the panic Penny Cardo's farmer felt when she had to fill up after the mix-up. She had no idea Ultramar would be fueling her anxiety instead of her gas tank. I started to freak out. I called my sister and I got to fill up. I don't want to fill up. I, I was petrified because you don't know how many places were affected. I didn't know. She pumped regular at the station in Prescott last Wednesday, but got diesel instead. Like a bad poison, her Kia tried to cough it out. And it was sputtery. It was like, shoot, 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 like that. The bill from the dealership to drain it all out cost her $463. One of the guys you spoke to that fills reservoir says it would be pretty difficult to mix things up. For example, that one's labeled premium, and you can clearly see that this one says regular. Chantal Crate sent us a picture of her misfueled SUV getting towed, and others say the mix-up is also costing them rentals they didn't budget for. It's frustrating because we can't afford, we, like, uh, we couldn't afford it. We, we're a one-family income. We're a one-car household. Ultramar is telling customers not to worry, they'll pay. In a statement, Ultramar writes, the sooner we will get all the documents, the faster the customers will receive the compensation. In fact, we have increased the number of customer satisfaction service agents to deal more quickly with customer compensation requests, especially in the evenings. And a different paragraph of that very same statement confirms to CTV this Ultramar in Prescott wasn't alone. Another one in Vars had diesel coming out of its premium pumps the day before. Online, it's the company getting slammed while it won't confirm the number of complaints to us. Attendants have told drivers there it's well over 100 and counting. Well, it's now Tuesday. I've heard nothing. Ultramar says it plans to call all customers who filed complaints tonight. If caught early enough, maybe a $400 fix like what Penny had to pay. If it lingers on and destroys the engine, thousands. And so if you filled up at an Ultramar location in Vars on the 15th or in Prescott between the 16th and 18th and are having trouble with your car, this could be why, Graham. CTV's Stefan Keys reporting live. Thanks, Stefan. You're welcome.